What does Brexit mean, first of all, for the European economy and for the rest of the world? I think one has to, whatever one thought about the European integration initiative experiment a year or a year and a half ago, I think one has to be considerably more concerned uh, today. Uh, whether it's politically sustainable is, I think, in doubt. I think the growing divergences between uh, a German economy that by some measures is overheating and continuing problems in the European periphery suggest that the financial strains are likely to be greater and the sense of statesmanship that uh, privileges European unity over any particular technical uh, issue one has a sense that that's uh, eroding. And so I, I'm quite concerned about uh, Europe's future. And look, uh, the United States has, since the Second World War, been a huge supporter of European uh, unity. And that is now very much in question with the comments that our president-elect um, has uh, made basically cheering on more exits from Europe and uh, condemning the European Union for the extent to which uh, it is uh, German driven. And so when both Russia and the United States are both working to undermine European unity at a moment when there are substantial economic strains, I think one has to be very worried about Europe. And if one's worried about um, populist nationalist pressures in the United States, if there's substantial fission within uh, Europe, it means that uh, the Atlantic Alliance and the West more broadly is, I think, unprecedentedly uh, weak and divided relative to any time since uh, the Second uh, World War. And looking forward, uh, that has to give one uh, cause for a lot of concern about the future of the global system.